Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com and today is day 18 in our 30 tips in 30 days video series. And if you're a fan of nature photography, then this tutorial is for you. I'm going to show you how you can reduce haze in your photos caused by atmospheric perspective to really help your images stand out. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can take any of your outdoor or landscape photography and really make it pop. Now you'll see here in this example that I've got open in Photoshop right now, um, there's this really beautiful image with some great lighting happening, but we're starting to lose some of those trees in the background um, because of the haze and, and atmospheric perspective. And that's just, um, you know, for those of you guys who might not know, atmospheric perspective is just the tendency for things to become uh, less and less saturated the further away from us uh, that they appear. So this technique is going to help restore some of that and really bring this to life. So right here all I have is my background layer. I'm just going to come down to the adjustment layer menu and let's add a levels adjustment. Now the next thing we're going to do is come up to the image menu and we're going to choose apply image. Now you'll see here you have a couple of options. You've got you know layer, channel, blending, and so forth. But the one that we're concerned with today is the channel menu. So let's go ahead and select the green channel and then hit OK. Now you'll notice what's happening here if you hold down Alt Option and click on the thumbnail. It'll give you a preview. It's basically taking the green channel and putting it as the layer mask in our levels adjustment. So if you have the thumbnail selected, just make sure that you're now back to the uh, the levels adjustment. And you can begin to play around with these sliders a little bit. And you'll see how it's only affecting uh, the colors that are present in that channel. So you're targeting a specific channel and really bringing out the contrast and the highlights. Now you can do this again. We're going to add another levels adjustment and do the same thing. Come up to the image menu choose apply image but this time let's try the blue channel instead of the green channel go ahead and hit OK and again to preview it just press the alt option key and click on the thumbnail and you'll see everything that is present in the blue channel alright so come back to the levels and again you know play around with the sliders a little bit and, and see how it affects your image it's looking really nice I mean it's really bringing those colors out so from here, once you're happy with what you've got, I'm going to select both level adjustment layers by holding down the shift key and clicking on them both, and then press command G to put them into a group folder. Let's just call this, you know, levels. All right, and then you can turn the visibility on and off and you can see what a huge difference that really makes in your image. So this is a, a very useful tip. I mean, it works great for nature photography, obviously, but um, you know, you can use this in just about anything. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please do us a solid and give us a thumbs up, help spread the word, and sign up for our newsletter, and let us know how we can help you design better. Thanks guys. See you next time.